Welcome back to another Tea with Tin Thursday. Today we're going to be trying out some new tea from David's Tea. And also I decided to change the scenery. I just thought that the lighting last week, it was okay. But for this series, I kind of wanted to step it up a notch. Just a little bit more personal where we can just have some tea. If you're not a fan of tea, grab some coffee, grab a little snack. We're going to just kind of chat a bit. In case you guys are new here, I would greatly appreciate it. If you please subscribe to my channel, I would love for you guys to be a part of the Chicky Crew. Tea with Tin is every Thursday. I upload all different types of content here on my channel. Make sure you guys click that bell to be notified of new videos. So let's first kind of talk about the tea today. And I'm not talking about shade. I'm talking about our tea that we're going to be trying today. I went to David's Tea last Sunday. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'm going to link it up here in the card area. This was the first time that I actually really paid attention to David's Tea. Instead of just picking up the Advent Tea Calendar, which I have been getting for the past three years for Christmas talking to the lady there and she said on their wall they have over a hundred teas and they also switch out their teas seasonally she was also educating me on the different types of teas definitely want to go back again and pick up a little bit more but I have some that we're going to be trying out the next couple of weeks this is actually one of their newest teas I think it's limited edition it's called cotton candy it's made with Rui boss the sweet treat is deliciously nostalgic and ridiculously fun I mean, right? It's cotton candy. Ingredients, green brewery boss, sprinkles, mango, brittle, natural and artificial flavoring, contains hazelnuts. Just purchase 0.5 ounces of tea. And I decided if I like it, I can always go back and get it. I didn't want to invest in getting a whole can or even a whole bunch of it because what if I don't like it? You know what I mean? It's kind of like a waste of money. I didn't smell it when we were at the store. I just went specifically by the name. Open this on camera and smell it for the first time. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That literally smells like cotton candy. I have to show you what this looks like. It's so pretty, right? You can see the sprinkles. You can see some of that mango. Wow. I've never seen white like this. So let me put it back in the bag. Barely have enough for like one other spoon. Got this teapot the other day. I'm going to link it down below in the description box. But it's basically like a two-in-one teapot. It already has the tea steeper. You just drop it in there. And then cleanup is a cinch. Just basically take this out, dump it, and then that's it. Put it all up in here. Put it into our little teapot. And we'll let it steep. Steep time is between four to five minutes. I'm sure you guys have all heard of the Hanmari method with tidying up on a mission to get situated this week. I already did the rest of my makeup using that method. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it up here in the card area, but I am planning for tomorrow's video to do the KonMari method with my closet, which is a disaster. The last time I really cleaned it out was last fall, not this past fall, but the last year fall, so like 2017 really want to tidy it up, organize it in a way that I can actually see everything that I have because right now it's just kind of stuffed, shoved, and stacked on top of, on top of each other. Uh, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that video tomorrow. Let's, uh, let me smell the tea. This is smelling pretty good, you guys. About four minutes, we are going to just go ahead and pour our tea. It spilled a little bit. Hold on. This is the first time I'm using this teapot, so I'm curious about how many cups I will be able to drink. I think this is going to be good for like one cup and a half. I also noticed that it was very, very quiet when it poured into the teacup. Stir our tea a little bit. Did you guys hear my tummy growl? I haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try the tea. Oh, this is delicious. You can definitely taste that um, cotton candy flavor. I've never tasted anything like this. It literally tastes like a sweet treat. But I think this, is, this has got to be guilt-free. I wonder how many calories this contains. It tastes like a sweet treat without all of the added calories. 
before I get carried away, I asked on my IG stories assumptions about me. No, it didn't save. I feel terrible. If this was your question, please comment down below because I'd love to give you a shout out and just say thank you. So she said, you'd be an awesome friend in real life. Always humble. I love your reviews, tutorials, and vlogs. Thank you so, so, so much. It's actually really, really, really sweet. I mean, to be honest, I think I try as much as possible put an in effort into a friendship. Like with you guys, I think we have a really good relationship here. Friendship on YouTube, be there for my friends and reach out to them and chat with them, um, hang out with them, be quite transparent with you. A lot of the friendships that I do have today are because of YouTube. Closest friends through YouTube and I am so grateful for for those friendships. I think it's so amazing that this platform can bring people together. Don't see each other all the time, but it's like when you get together, it's as if time stood still and you guys were able to catch up and it's just a good time and you really have a bond and a connection with this person. I really do value the friendships that I have and I'm so super grateful for you guys. It's so super flattering um, to know that you find the reviews, tutorials helpful and vlogs, you guys seeing a piece of my life here at home and with my family and friends. Truly, truly enjoy vlogging. I think it's one of those things that you have to learn to get used to because you get stared at and you know sometimes you can feel a little bit uncomfortable you just gotta like focus what's right in front of you and just block out the rest i'm curious how many of you vlog or how many of you have a channel of your own if you do leave it down below we can all chat and check out each other's channels i think that's a really great way of sharing and just showing love for one another you guys this tea is so delicious let's see how much Okay, so this will give me about a cup and a half of tea, which is not bad. It's perfect. Verdict on the cotton candy tea from David's Tea. It is a must. Absolutely delicious if you have a sweet tooth but don't want to eat physical candy but you want something where it's kind of like a cheat this is the way to go please comment any of your topics or questions down below we will be doing this every thursday it's just kind of fun you know to hang out with you guys have some tea let me know what you guys think of the setup the lighting i think for me i feel like this is a little bit better than where i was the other day so i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today if you did please make sure you smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification turn on those post notifications to be notified of new videos if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys check out last episode of tea with tin as well as my other videos thank you chiki so much for watching and i will see you in my next video which is tomorrow Mwah.